Hello friends, this is Rajdeep. Welcome to Learning Insight for UGC NET JRF Paper 2 Social Work. Discuss the previous year questions, Paper 2, June 2013, uh, with best explanation. I have uh, already uploaded uh, pa previous year papers that is uh, for June 2012 and December 2012. If you have not seen, uh, then please uh, go to my playlist and watch this video. Benef definitely, you will be benefited. And uh, please uh, ek like de DJ. And if you are new in my channel, then please subscribe it because uh, you will get all the videos for your net GRF preparations. Uh, so let's start. This is our video number five. And uh, earlier, earlier all these videos I have already uploaded. You can watch this. So let's start. Question number one: Which Indian state has lowest sex ratio from among the following? Okay. So identify the state which has the lowest sex ratio uh, in India. So, we know that Punjab is the lowest sex ratio state in um, India and then it according to the census 2011 then Arunachal Pradesh has the highest sex ratio among the Indian state and that is 972 while Haryana has the lowest. So, Arunachal Pradesh is the highest um, you know, for the census 2011 and lowest is Haryana that is 834. Per th and we know that sex ratio is measured per thousand males. Uh, among the union territories of India, Andaman Nicobar Island has the highest sex child sex ratio that is 968 per thousand male. Now, next question Which one of the following is not the professional view of social work? So, not the professional view of social work. So, citizen as object, no. Okay, not professional values. Okay, not professional view of so client as object. We consider it. client as recipient. Yes, he came for some receive some uh, benefit or uh, solution, and client as resources. Yes, we consider it. But we cannot view client as a citizen because we believe that every client is unique. Every individual is unique and having unique problems. So we we cannot we cannot consider that client as a citizen as all human beings. So, every human being is different and we believe that unique uh, uniqueness of individual. And third question, the tendency to commit crime repeatedly without any sense of repentance is called that is recidivism because recidivism is a repeat offenders, repeat offenders is the act of a person repeating an undesirable behavior after they have either experience negative consequences of that behavior or have been trained to extinguish that behavior. So, it is known as repeat offenders and so the uh, tendency to commit crime repeatedly is known as recidivism. Now, next question, which one of the following is recognized as a decade for nat natural disaster reductions? So, decade for natural disaster reduction is known as in the year 1990s. The United Nations General Assembly designated the 1990s as the International Decade for IDNDR that is International Decade for Natural Disaster Reductions is, is known as is designated by the UN, UN in the year that is in 1990s. Now, next question that is national Rural Employment Guarantee Act came into force. Actually, uh, it should be 2006, but there is no option 2006 because when it came into force, it should be 2006. But it uh, initially it was a process or came in 2005, but came into force in 2006. So, Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act was notified through the Gazette of India Extraordinary Notification that is September 2005. And it came into force on February 2nd, 2006 in 200 big backward districts. So, uh, it is MG and Rega is on uh, came into force on 2006. This question is wrong or option is wrong actually. There is no option for 2006. So, we, we have to go for 2005, but otherwise it should be 2006. Written or visual materials read or viewed primarily for the purpose of sexual pleasure is called sexual is is called uh, sexual photography no pornography no or uh, yes pornography yes yes there is written or visual materials that is read or viewed primarily for the purpose of sexual pleasure that is known as pornography now next one who introduced the concept of role playing 
so we know that role playing introduced by the g h maid g h maid has uh, stated that the ability to take the role of role of the other is a process which underline all human interaction yes it's under all human interactions now negative reinforcements leads to okay negative reinforcement leads to increase in desire responses because negative reinforcement should not be uh, taught as a punishment procedures N with negative reinforcement we can increase our desire behavior whereas punishment can uh, that is used as decreasing behavior so negative reinforcements you are increasing a behavior and punishment is a decreasing behavior now uh, next question the 12 years old ashit need not to told need not be told that he had failed in his exam on returning home he could guess by the look on his father face and his postures what uh, his result was this is an example of this non verbal communication because uh, when we talk about the gesture postures uh, face this kind of question is uh, this kind of interaction is a non verbal communication the next question when monotony in work is reduced by giving a wider variety of duties to employee is known for job rotation uh, then what job rotation means job rotation is a management pro approach where employees are shifted between two or more in addition to it it reduces the monopoly of the job and gives them a wider experience of to employ also so this is a this is a kind of ro job rotation when monotony in work is reduced by giving wider ex variety of duties to the employees next question there is ic uh, nicp means that is national initiative for child protection next question one of the following is not a technique that comes under para phase so which technique is not come under para phase open ended question is not come under para phase because summarizing is uh, okay so if you understand the open para phase then uh, easily uh, easily you can identify it uh, para phase means express the meaning of something written or spoken we using different words especially to achieve greater clarity so summary is relating to that reflection is relating to it, restatement is relating to it but open ended question is not a kind of paraphrasing now next question the study of dis the distribution the study of the distribution and determinants of health related status or events in specified populations and the application of this study to the to the control of health problem is called so whenever we talk about the health related issues that should be epidemiology not biology not geology not entomology is relating to epidemiology is a control of health problems and population and determinants and their study is relating to epidemiology now felt difficulty in fulfilling role obligation is known as so felt difficulty means feeling problem in fulfilling the role obligations that is known as role strain role strain is occurs when we have trouble meeting the social role expected from us that is sometimes one person is a son of somebody is a father of someone is a husband of some uh, some uh, someone and employees of some organization so he has different role and this role overload sometime be very overloaded when he does not meet these resources to meet the demand of the multiple roles then it arise the difficulty felt he, he or she felt felt difficulty in fulfilling the role obligation and this is called role strain next question that is the model of social policy called residual welfare has been advanced by residual welfare policy uh, the, the social policy advanced by richard titmar richard titmar has outlined the three models and in the three models what the models he has developed that is residual welfare model industrial achievement performance model and the institutional redistribution model and it must develop this model in the year 1974 now next question the activity that interrelates various part of the welfare agency so that it function as a whole is known as known as coordination coordination is a interrelated various part of the welfare agency so that the function as a whole 
Now, which is not a correct statement that reliability and validity are interdependent of each other. No, this is not uh, ok. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Which of the following statement is correct? Okay. Actually, reliability and validity are independent of each other is correct because reliability and validity uh, is go together. Okay, it goes together normally. Now, next question: Who has divided family into family of orientation and family of procreations? So, this was divided by Robert Stone. Robert Stone's, according to him, there is not a single person who is not a member of a family in one from or the other. So, no one is, is uh, no one person is without family. According to him, there are two types of family: uh, family of orientation, first one, and the second one is family of procreations where uh, we are born we are a member where we are born we are a member now next question that is probation of offenders act came into being in the year probation of offender x is came into in the year in 1958 probation of offender x 1958 is intended to reform the immutorious offenders by providing rehabilitation in society and to prevent the conversion of youthful offenders into the obdurate criminals under environmental influences by keeping them in jail along with the harder uh, harder uh, criminals. Now, next question the strength of association between two variables is called is called correlations correlation because correlation is a statistical technique that can be show whether and how strongly pairs of variables are related and for example, height and weight are related there is correlations uh, one is depend on other then tailored people tailored people tend to be heavier than stronger uh, than shorter people yes these are correlated statistical technique now the in independent variable is called predictor variable because an independent variable sometimes called an uh, experimental or predictor variable is a is a variable that is being manipulated in an experiment in order to observe the effect of dependent variable and sometimes is also called as outcome variable. Now, next question the research design in which identification of relationship between variable is attempted is called uh, ok research design uh, relationship between variable is, attempt is called experimental design because is identification of the relationship between variable. Now, what would be mean value of this number remember mean value is known for average value and average means we have how to calculate we have to add all this number and we have to divide after uh, getting the sum sum of this number we have to divide the the number uh, how many time the number is there suppose there is a 11 number and so we have to first we have to uh, sum of this number and then i we have to divide by 11 and what we will get this will be your average so it's just a average value now institutional redistribution model is linked with is linked with welfare state institutional redistribution model of social policy that is this model view social welfare as an important institution that is a part of the society and providing universalist services outside of the market on the principle of need who developed the physical quality of life index pqli so this was developed by dm morris dm morris the physical quality of life index was developed in the mid 1970s by economics morris david morris so he has developed uh, this uh, uh, pqli gender related development index is used in human development report because the gender development report index measures gender gap in human development achievement by accounting their disparities between men and women in the three basic dimension of human development that is consideration of the health their knowledge and the living standard using the same component indicator as the human development index so this is using uh, him, uh, that is early, that is in the human report human development report and that is related to uh, gender related development index 
Now next question, which of the following is not correct? A belief become a scientific truth when it establish experimentally. So anything established and experimentally is is become a scientific truth is not correct because there are some uh, there are many things that is established logically also accepted by many people and can be replicated. So these are also uh, belief. So we cannot say that uh, anything established uh, that is established experimentally is a um, scientific truth. So belief become truth when evidence of objective demonstrate nature can be given to show accuracy of the belief then belief become knowledge. So uh, when we uh, when we try to establish anything scientifically it, sh it should have objective knowledge objective evidences objective evidences means si uh, single reality ok. So the hypothetical statements denying what are expliciting indicated of working hypothesis is known as null hypothesis. Now a null hypothesis is a type of hypothesis used in statistics that process that processes that there is no difference between certain characteristics of population or data generating process. So there is a no differences between uh, certain characteristics of population is known for null hypothesis. Now acronyms of Bimaru represent. So Bimaru represent Bihar Bihar, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan and UP. The term Bimaru was coined in 1980s by the demographer Ashish Bosch in a, in a paper he wrote in the early 1980s. Now accountability in governance refers to uh, the ability of citizen to hold leaders, government and public organization to account means accountability in governments is refers to the government should be accountable to people means government should be answerable to people. So the poli the leaders, government and public organization should be accountable to the to its citizens. Now next question there is glass ceiling is glass ceiling is known for a transparent barriers which women face as the as they attempt to achieve promotion the higher level of organization normally is a kind of discriminations that is uh, glass ceiling is a informal barriers that is not seen uh, of uh, the openly we, we will not uh, formally it is not seen but it is there that that keep women from getting promotion pay raises and further promotion so they are um, uh, suppressed in that case that is called glass ceiling now yellow revolutions so yellow revolution is the growth, development and adoption of new varieties of oil sheet and technologies to increase oil sheet productions. So the revolution launch in this yellow revolution is launched in 1986 to 1987 to increase the production Sam Sam Pitroda is known as the father of yellow revolution in India. Now bio magnification is known. Uh, is a process. Biomagnification is a process that is where where some compound remains in the ecosystem in virtually unchanged from as they are passed from one organism to another by predators. So this is known as a biomagnification. Is a process that is uh, that is come under this option and match the following uh, reproductions child health that is relating to your uh, uh, what I did I have um, put a different color and color matching is there so you have to match it uh, reproduction reproductive child health that is related to mother and child national rural employment guarantee act that is related to employment uh, at a village level and post traumatic stress disorder that is known as trauma uh, then bureau of police research and development that is known for police research. Then next uh, that is act and their enactment the industrial employment standing order this enacted in the year 1946. The Indian Trade Union Act enacted in the year 1926. The Industrial Disputes Act 1947 and then Employment Exchange Compulsory Notification Act 19, 
59. Uh, you can do what what you can do uh, you can watch my video uh, then go to my playlist and you will find the important section uh, materials in this uh, in this important section you will get all the uh, years and the program and the um, and the act and the year uh, uh, um, one video is there you can watch this video and you will definitely get all the answers uh, whatever the year you will get you will get uh, from this video only I have what I did I did here that from 2012 to 2019 I have um, mentioned all the mention I have what from 2012 to 2019 I have mentioned all the um, act and their enactment year next question steps in the process of participating rural appraisal in sequence so PRA process steps so initial contact first is there after that you have to develop repo building and then use of tools and then reporting generations report generations and then only you can sharing the learnings and after that you go for participating action planning now next question that is child marriage restraint act is enacted in the year 1926 medical termination of pregnancy act that is in 1971 hindu marriage act that is in 1955 and dowry provision act that is enacted in 1961 now prisons is a correctional institution that aims at reforming the criminals and uh, prisons segregates the criminal to protect the society yes both are correct and but r is not correct explanation of a now next question international youth year that is uh, 1985 international micro year credit year that is uh, 2005 mental health act that is 1987 establishment of planning commission that is uh, in the year in 1950 now next question world consumer day is celebrated on 15 march international literacy day celebrated on 8th march 8 march 8 september and uh, world mental health is celebrated on 10th october un day is celebrated on 24th October. Oral stage is known for trust versus mistrust. Anal stage is known as autonomy versus shame and doubt. Genital stage is known for initial versus guilt and latency stage is known for that is industry versus inferiority. Now next that is assertion. In spite of best efforts, Sarvasika Avijan failed to achieve desirable literacy rate. Yes, it is correct. Result can be achieved without political will. No, this cannot be. Uh, correct uh, yes a is correct but r is not correct explanation of a so there there you have to go with this one now gritori is a common disease in mountain uh, mountainous regions okay the diet of the people in mountainous regions lack of iodine contents yes both are correct and r is the correct explanation of a of a also now next question due to strong family ties women in india sacrifice for their family yes it's correct and it is a product of social conditioning yes both true and r as r is the correct explanation of a because it's a social conditioning only because of from the learning from society itself it's our uh, prolonged practice now disaster affected population can take care of their emotional and psychological needs with their own resources the strong socio cultural traditions are powerful support in such situation so both are correct and r is the correct explanation of a so uh, the passage from question 46 to uh, for um, the passage question that is contained from the question 24 46 to 40, 50 and that will i will not discuss because uh, passage will not repeat in your exams uh, however we'll make one video on how to solve the passage with the tips uh, hopefully aap logo ko ye video pasand aaya aa raha hoga and if yes yeah, then please uh, do uh, like share and subscribe and definitely play, press the bell icon so then you can get my all the videos immediately after uploading and uh, you can join my uh, uh, telegram channel that is learning inside for all the videos uh, test paper tips and suggestion you can also join my google classroom for complete study and join my facebook page uh, thank you guys i will the next video pe. Keep watching, keep learning. Thank you.